hello guys welcome back so now we are going to work on the chat page you know that this is the inbox screen the next thing is you can set the chat or conversation page where the host and user can send messages so let's create that page inside the view right click on view new dot file conversation underscore screen here we receive the conversation information between the host and the user for the current listing To access conversation information directly, we assign this to our this conversation. Okay, the conversation we received, which is that is this conversation, we assign to our this one. So now it can be accessible directly by this conversation instance name here in the conversation screen state. Let's return scaffold widget. First, we add the app bar. So, app bar, we add the uh, linear gradient flexible space container inside this, and then we add title for this. Then, after the app bar comes the body. body column children widget first we add the expanded widget inside which we will display the messages which has already been exchanged between the host and the user for now we do nothing but just display an empty container because we want to implement the complete the UI first so we say container after that and add a decoration child row widget we need a text reading controller for the input message so let's give it name as controller and then here we can add size box inside which we have the text field write a message and then maximum line minimum lines textile and controller so now let's implement the retrieving part for displaying the already exchanged messages which we can do here so expand expanded child stream builder the stream you already know is the query which is inside the conversation main collection conversation ID that is each messages will have its own ID and then we order by that time that is the new one first of course we can move this query to our inbox view model or you can create a separate view model uh, like by the name conversation view model but as inbox and conversation are related so we will use the same inbox view model for it that is we can say get messages and 
and of course here we will receive that is we have to pass the conversation which we receive conversation information which is basically I'm talking about this conversation we pass this as a parameter which is receiving here and you know the type of this is conversation model builder context comma snapshot first we check if the snapshots dot connection state if this become equals to connection state dot waiting display circular progress indicator otherwise we say else we have to add here the type which is query snapshot because if we do not add this and we say return list view dot builder for displaying the data and we define the item count then on the docs we will see the error that is it is not defined that's why we have to define here the query snapshot for the stream builder then we assign the data coming from the database one by one to the snapshot and with the help of the message model we are going to first get the data for each message from the firestore and then start displaying it on the user interface so let's implement this method on our message model class so go to the message model class and implement this method here get message info from firestore which receives snapshot as a parameter and the date time which is coming from the database we assign to this variable then we make sure to convert it to date then we get the sender id which we pass to the contact model attribute id and then we get the message text assigned to the text then after it we check if the current message sender ID if it become equals to the logged in user ID that is the current user ID if the sender is equals to the logged in user ID then in that case we have to create contact from user from the current user and assign it to the sender so let's create this create contact from user on our user model class which is user model class okay so let's create that here here we return contact model and pass to it id we assign or you can say we pass the id to the id attribute or contact model first name to the first name attribute of contact model and so on last name and display image then else we assign other contact to the sender and then we need a UI widget using which we can display the messages so right click on widgets new dot file and we create a widget by the name message underscore list tile UI statless widget Here we receive the message information. Now, here we have to basically first check something, and that is using the if condition we say that if the sender first name become equals to the current user first name
and in that case return separate user interface otherwise return separate other separate interface which we will implement let's implement first this one it simply means separating out the sender and receiver message bubble UI padding then child raw widget using the gesture detector first inside the circle avatar we display the profile image of the person and then after it we use flexible widget Let's apply padding and decoration. After the decoration, First we display the message text and then after it we display the time, message date time. Okay, then the if part UI that is sender and receiver chat bubble. We will have the same UI like here in the else part. with some changes so what we can do is we can simply copy this from here and paste it here and this one we will change now for example we don't need this gesture deductor here what we need is uh, flexible change this to pink ascent amber color child column the rest of the thing will remain the same just it will have this different color and also we don't have the circle elevator that is first we display the message text and message date time and after this after this we display the circle elevator okay which is remember the current user display image which simply means this part is the sender the if part the else part will be for the receiver of the message so this is all about the UI of our messages bubbles let's come back to the conversation page and we say return Mes list style UI message list style UI pass to it the message 